So listen, um, you know what? I'm really excited about this wreck on the road because my family and everyone else we know are really big fans of American Ninja Warrior. Virginia mm -hmm. Beach native Stevens Nunley qualified for the finals of American Ninja Warrior. Nunley punched his ticket to Las Vegas by con uh, conquering the obstacle down in Miami. He is a master electrician by trade mm. and now has earned the nickname the Electric Ninja. Ooh. Find out more on this week's edition of Wreck on the Road. Stevens Nunley spends a great deal of his time training in his backyard garage, swinging from ropes, climbing walls, and balancing on slack lines. Well, I've been watching uh, Ninja Warrior uh, since it was just a Japanese TV show, uh, getting broadcast on G4, so uh, since I was a teenager. And so it's something I've always wanted to do, but I didn't really realize I had the capability until I started rock climbing a few years ago. The 32-year-old Virginia Beach native got so good at rock climbing that he decided to give American Ninja Warrior a try. His audition tape highlighted the fact that he's a master electrician by trade. You know, I spend all day on my feet, moving around, climbing ladders, uh, pulling wire, you know, uh, lifting heavy objects. So, I mean, it's really, I have a strong, you know, I had a strong muscle base and uh, going in, uh, so it's uh, prepared me well. With moves like this, Nunley was perfect for the show, so he was given a shot. But it was up to him to conquer the course in Miami. Yeah, and when I watch the show, it does kind of look easy, but um, I think a big part of it, too, is the obstacles, uh, from what, how I felt, t tend to get a little bit harder as the stage goes on. So it, any one obstacle by itself, uh, I'd say 99% of the guys that do this show could easily complete the obstacle. But when you start to put one obstacle after another after another, it really does wear down your muscles. And then you have to deal with the fact that you're getting exhausted and tired and have to keep going, along with the, the nerve factor, which is really indescribable for guys that aren't actors, that are just ordinary people, having to get in front of hundreds of cameras and hundreds of screaming fans to compete. It's, uh, it's a lot of stress. One of the better moments of Nunley's run came on the salmon ladder when he stopped to adjust a safety wire that got caught on the ladder. Well, I didn't have much experience on the salmon ladder at that point, and uh, so I was taking it kind of slow. I wanted to make sure I got each rung because uh, it, it's taken out some big names on the show in the past. So when I hit the first rung, the pipe had kind of shifted over a little bit. It, it only has a, a couple inches of play on either side. So when I went up and it had shifted over, I stopped to look at either side to readjust it and then uh, so the next rung I went up again and was worried about the pipe coming off so again I had stopped and when I looked up I saw that safety string wrapped around and uh, wasn't sure if I was allowed, allowed to fix it but in my mind I knew that it could be a problem so I, I just had to take care of it as fast as I could. Moments later Nunley almost slipped exiting the minefield. Well in the minefield uh, I, I was moving through a little slower than I had expected and um, when I got to the last one I was getting a little tired. Um, but uh, I, thought, I thought I had gauged the swing correctly, and uh, when I hit the pad, I actually hit it in a good spot on the front of the pad, but the pad was uh, a little softer in the front than I was expecting, so my feet kind of gave out a little bit in front of me, and I luckily managed to hold on. Nunley made it through with a time under six minutes. For an average working Joe, quite an accomplishment. It felt amazing. There's, uh, there's no way to even describe the feeling. I mean, you know, I put in a lot of hard work uh, to be able to, to accomplish the, the obstacles and when I got to the top it, it was really surreal and uh, it's a lot harder than it looks on TV as well. Next up for the Electric Ninja is his shot at Mount Midoriyama at the finals in Las Vegas and plenty more workouts in his backyard gym. It's been great. I mean, uh, my friends and family have been super supportive. My phone's been going crazy. Uh, lots of friend requests on Facebook. A uh, little bit of a uh, local celebrity at the moment, uh, but it, 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 feels, it feels really great. All right, now keep in mind, this is a TV show, oh, so we don't goodness, see so everything. Tough. We don't see everything that happens there. They said he said that it was raining, it, the the course was slippery, and Ooh. they just said, "Hey, deal with it. You're a ninja." So, I mean, pretty cool yeah. stuff. And this guy is oh. really spectacular when he's in, in action. Yeah, and he makes a point because you have to go through obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. Then you have the lights, harder, the cameras, and you got all the, the clock is running. Hundreds of cameras everywhere, all the people screaming, lots of pressure and stress. It gets harder as it goes. But good luck to Steven yes. Nunley when we'll he goes to happens. Las Vegas. Tune in for an all-new American Ninja Warrior Monday night at 9 right here on Wavy TV 10. You can also catch up on missed episodes and watch highlights anytime at NBC.com. Go Electric Ninja. The Electric Ninja.